Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here. So, on a previous video, kind of talked into the Daybreaker Sword a bit more. Um, kind of going to run through some more details of that. Uh, I am getting here hopefully in the next few days. I'm trying to find a store locally that carries this. I tried to paint this gold and the gold quote unquote paint that I have does, doesn't really cover very well. Uh, you get some hints of gold, but it doesn't look gold the way I want. Because the problem with this is even though it's goldish, when I grunge that up, it's not going to look goldish at all. Um, so, the Plaid FX has a paint called Golden Hour, I want to say it is. And that is the paint that I'm trying to locate locally for this so I can paint everything including the tips that are not painted um, so quickly through this this is made of EVA foam I made the teeth yes they're extremely long but that's what I wanted so no worries there uh, the teeth are from thermal plastic beads that I showed you how I made these exact teeth actually on a video a little while back. And those were hot glued onto the EVA foam. Then I wanted to take, uh, there you go. I wanted to take, and granted this one did not work I mean, it's cool and all. Don't get me wrong, but this was foam I got off of Amazon and it didn't really want to allow the EVA foam clay to stick to it very well. So, I ended up making another one out of regular EVA foam that I had. And we'll get these a little bit closer. And I kind of wanted to have some more details of the brows, some different ridges, different textures around. I wanted to build up the cheekbones because they're not exactly very detailed here, granted. All the markings on here kind of makes makes it hard to see it but I mean they're it's not bad skull but it wasn't gonna work for what I wanted to do plus I ended up with this foam does not like to heat shape very well so I had all kinds of areas where I had to hot glue the snot out of it and uh, decided 86 that one and remake this one now this is done all painted and there's a reason behind that the foam that will come up and make the hilt part that is attached to the sword will come up and kind of cover over this and I'll do some designs and whatnot to kind of hide the seam work there and this will, I'll end up opening this up back up more so I can feed the electronics. Um, there will be two eyes that light up and I'll put some um, lenses in the eyes, probably paint them red. So that'll be there. Um, there'll be a tube that will come in and sit out here a bit that will feed the smoke from the smoke machine that will be all hidden in the hilt of the blade um 
So right now with this, I'm kind of in a holding pattern until I locate my gold paint to go back and cover everything thoroughly and get the electronics done in that. And then I can get back to this whamma jamma here. Uh, this is all, this texture is wood burned. And the nice thing with this is when I go to paint it and I grunge this up, I'm gonna go with a very, very bright and light base color. Um, I'm thinking kind of like a silver hammered metal look. And then when I grunge it up and do some of the other ideas that I got rolling around in my head, we'll definitely have some areas that'll pop up a little bit more, have a little bit more interest there. So that is where we're at with that. So. I don't want to make this video too long so if this is your first time to my channel and you enjoyed this video and you want to see the updates on the daybreaker sword or the creature mask or the wonder woman helmet or whatever it is that you have got to see um then hit that subscribe button i'm gonna be making a foam anvil here pretty soon as well so uh neat little handy tool to have if you're working with eva foam so stay tuned for that as well and i will catch you all on the very next video thanks bye